What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the, the, the Casually Avid Gamer Plays Seven Days to Die. Oh, man, I am glad to be back. Oh, I know it hasn't seemed like I've been gone, but I have. It's been two weeks since I've done... Well, I've done, played, done a little bit of Minecraft because I did uh, a Minecraft mini already. But I am now recruiting... Or re recruiting. Recording this episode for... Uh, oh, this is the first time I've played Seven Days to Die in like two weeks. And oh, buddy, oh, buddy, oh, buddy, oh, buddy, oh, buddy. I am just glad to be back. Uh, don't get me wrong. I had a blast what I was doing. Uh, basically, I was on a cruise. I went on an Alaskan cruise, and it was amazing. It was so much fun. I had a blast. But uh, for a gaming geek like myself, there was no gaming. There, you know, we played a little bit of cards, and, and that was about it. Uh, don't get me wrong, I had a blast. I had an absolute blast, but I'm so glad to be back to serious nerd stuff, and which I think this qualifies. So, we are fast coming up on day 20, which I believe that's when we should be expecting the dog hordes and I really would like to not get eaten alive by the pooches so we're gonna try and work fast now what we've got here what I'm trying to do here is open up this bottom layer, layer of our base because and again I'm more trying to remind myself than remind you guys uh, we're moving our base up we're no longer gonna have this as our primary base at ground level we're moving everything up a floor and we are trying to actually we're gonna go up here just in case just in case of the pooches but we want to open this up ground floor level uh, so that when zombies kind of come across it they don't get stuck because if they can't get through something that's when they start kind of getting getting angry and they just start hitting things but if I open you know, these gaps here up. Hopefully they'll just kind of walk through and past when you know it's not a feral horde. When it is a feral horde, well then I've got to do a lot of shooting. But we've got most of our killing floor done already. I'll show you that in a second. Come on. There we go. So, if you look up here, we've got the the metal trussing <laughs> I remember the name I have two weeks gone and I can remember it I'll forget it again here shortly but then what we've also uh, the problem with this metal trussing is we can shoot bullets through it but for some reason crossbow bolts and arrows will not penetrate which is kind of pants uh, so what we've done is we've left these gaps uh, these two by two gaps that we of wooden frames that we can pick up so I can pick these up shoot my crossbow through and then uh, place back that's not ideal especially since I guarantee you I'm probably going to fall through one of the fall through a hole and then get mauled to death by zombies which I'm not a big fan of I don't know if you guys are either. Uh, who is really uh, but until I either get a decent shotgun or a pistol uh, working. I, I've got a pistol. I just can't make any bullets. Uh, but so until I get those working, I can't. I need to use my crossbow. I've got this excellent hunting rifle you see down in my hot bar. But the problem is those bullets are so, I guess, gunpowder expensive that I don't want to use it for every zombie that comes through. So I need something else that's a little more inexpensive to use that I can take care of the less threatening zombies with. And I'd like to save this this here rifle for things like feral zombies and the, the uh, spitting cops and, and you know, the, the dangerous ones. That and that rifle is no good when it comes to dealing with uh, zombie dogs because they run and they attack in packs, which, you know, tend to kill you. <sighs> oh, hey, I am tired now. But those zombie dogs, they, they run in packs, and this rifle, you shoot it once, and then it takes forever to reload it. 
and that's not good when you're trying to kill a bunch of zombie dogs at once. I sort of need to hurry up because evidently at least spider zombies can glitch through when there's one open space and bars, those bad boys can glitch through. And that's not so happy or good. So I need to finish up getting this out and then I gotta get those bars out. And then we should be done. This has taken a lot longer than I had hoped, but um, I re it's really pretty much the most important next step. All right, so there's the beginning of our base. 2.0. Uh, it's a very humble beginning. <laughs> oh, it's not terribly impressive, is it? But hopefully it'll get the job done. Uh, we'll find out here in about a day or so. And then what we can probably do is we'll start expanding. Um, we can we can expand horizontally as well as vertically so we can actually end up with a lot more space on this but i think the first add-on we're going to do and it's going to have to be after uh the day 21 horde is we're going to add a second level on top that way we can move all of our supplies up a level but anyway so i've got that done now zombies should be able to wander through freely i guess and that should be should be fine, I hope, cross my fingers. So I'm going to go explore and do a little planting. Um, and I don't actually have much time to do it. I've got a bunch of, well, here, I'll just show you. I've got some maple seeds so we can plant some trees, which is always good. And then some corn seeds. Uh, what I'm wanting to do with those is, oddly enough, plant corn crazy right uh but what that'll let me do is make some oh what are you doing oh and all those people just growling at me anyway uh what that'll let me do i don't need a bone thank you is all that corn will let me make grain alcohol which grain alcohol can give you the status effect of buzz like i think uh like beer buzz or something like that which regenerates your stamina uh which as i'm sure we can all agree is wonderful especially because when you've got a beer buzz and you're running it's pretty much unlimited stamina for however long the effect lasts so that can be very good against you know massive seven day hordes if you have to do a lot of sprinting. or if, for example you get chased down by a dog horde which I really hope I don't do. Okay, potato seeds will take, pipes will take. And I'm kind of caught right now between where I want to plant everything. Because if I plant it really close to my base, it's just going to be a lot more lag. Ooh. I uh, don't need either of those, but we'll take them anyway. We can scrap them. Uh, if I plant too close to my base, it's going to just end up causing a ton of lag. But if I plant it so far away, uh, bad guys could get me. I'd like to keep it close enough to where I don't have to spend hours out of the game day uh, traveling to and from just to get my basic supplies. But I think we're going to run... I don't know. Where are we going to do this? I think we're going to do it along the path to our, what's this? Oh, it's just a small stone. Uh, we're going to do it along the path to our mine, or at least the, the, the cave that is our mine right now. And we'll just plant them uh, kind of along the, along the route itself. I think when we get to some flat ground, I hear a growly bear. Which, now that we've got the hunting rifle, I'm less afraid of and more wanting to shoot. Oh, sounds like a bear's fighting a zombie, and that's okay. Oh, missed ya. Come here, you. Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna get her. Okay, yeah, I am a little rusty. Wow, it's two weeks not gaming will kind of take it out of ya. Let's see, which way are we going here? 
to the right. Check. Oops. Come on now. Alright, we're just gonna get this guy's attention. Or we're not. There we go. That ought to work. All right. So anyway, I'm I'm off to do my planting. All right. I've got my corn and my saplings planted. I've got the saplings over here and my corn on the other side this away. And that should work out. Now, if we look at our hunger and our whatever bars and things, you know what? Because this. There we go. We could use some. We could use some meat. Just in case. Alright, so we're going to take all that. Now we're going to run like the blazes back to our camp. I've got everything planted and now I'm also starving. I am so hungry. It's been a long, hard day of dropping corn seeds and planting uh, uh, maple trees. So we're going to head back. And I. Well, actually, I think I think I should have enough uh, corn left over that I didn't turn into corn seeds that I can make up a batch of, of grain alcohol, uh, which, if we need it, could come in handy on the uh, on the hoard. So we've got our grain alcohol cooking. However, sixteen more minutes. It's going to take forever, and we are losing light quickly. Now, one thing that keeps freaking me out every time I try to climb down from my my base now is I'm hearing a bear growl. So we're going to go see if we can't maybe take care of that and take care of that quickly. The grain alcohol is probably not going to be ready. It's probably not going to be ready in time for at least tomorrow. Let's see. Do we see a bear? A bear? Anybody a bear? A bar, a bar, a bar. Uh, it's not going to be ready until probably midday tomorrow, which, you know, okay, whatever, we'll deal with it. But while I'm waiting and while I've got the last of the light, uh, I do want to see if I can't just kill that bear. Or did I hear a piggy? Piggies would be good too because... We've got a bunch of extra eggs, and we can make some bacon and eggs. Let's see. There's a deer, which we've got some venison on us. That's really not all that great, unless you make deer stew, which I don't. <laughs> bear, 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 bear. Come here. Come here, bear. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, evidently he's a chicken. So, I guess we won't be shooting a bear at the moment. Alright, I think what we're going to do is we are going to while away the night. I don't feel like getting caught by a dog horde out out of doors so i think what we're going to do is we're going to keep a working on this tunnel one because it gives us stone and we need that to make concrete anyway but two i think well this is less you an escape tunnel is less necessary when your base is built off of the ground but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep with it and then i'm going to do an underground farm this way uh we'll do like a, a cement bunker with you know, lots of dirt, you know, fertile dirt in it. And then we'll just have a couple of fortified skylights to let sun in. And then that'll let us grow stuff underground, which, you know, like I said, it's not hugely useful, but I need the rock anyway for, for cement. So that's what we're going to do. Of course, yeah, I sort of left my pick upstairs. I think I'm going to go get it. All right, it's the dawn of day 21, and we should be expecting a pretty nasty horde today. However, I think we had enough time over the night that, yeah, our grain alcohol has finished cooking. 
That is awesome. Let's get this beaker out of here. Get this in our drop chest. And I don't know if you remember a few episodes ago, but those spontaneously flipped horizontal. And they haven't switched back. It's kind of funny. Although, those did it there, and then there's that pole there. I don't know. That's, that's a very, very odd bug. I am really liking the update they made to the weather. Uh, basically, I think what they did is they just changed the frequency in which you get overcast and cloudy uh, type weather. And I'm liking this a lot more. It was awfully gray before the 12.5 patch, and this is much better. Anyway, sort of beside the point, I'm I'm caught on the horn on the horns of a dilemma, and actually, it's the same kind of dilemma that this always kind of happens on any of the day sevens or the multiples thereof. Do I hang around my base and just kind of stay near the protection of what I hope is going to protect me? <laughs> Which, that's uh, that sounds silly, but anyway. Do, do I stay near my protection? Do I stay near my base? Or do I keep moving on? Uh, and because what I want to do now is explore. You know, I just... I think it's... I want to find some more places. This small town is... I mean, it's fine. I, it's uh, it's a good little base, but there's bound to be plenty more stuff. I mean, these worlds are procedurally generated. They're pretty much uh, limitless. There we go. Good shot, me. So I want to. Yeah, I think. Ah, oh, I didn't kill him. Come on now. Okay, you are gonna fall down. And look at that. He just busting up the... Alright, see, now... Here we go. This is how we play this game. Ooh, it's a nurse. And what do we always do with nurses, guys? We get them. Oh, I missed. I missed the nurse. Gotcha. There we go. Ah, I don't need that. Alright, so anyway, I guess what I was trying to say before we got so rudely interrupted. Well, actually, I kind of interrupted them. I did sort of shoot first. Ooh, blueberry seeds and painkillers. We'll take it all. Is, do I stick around and just... Because if, if you stay near your base, which is the safe play... You know, and that's that's all well and good. But if you do that, you sort of lose the whole day. Because my problem is I can't work on my escape route because I'm under my base rather than in it. So, you know, there's there's that problem. So I, I don't know what's going to do. Anyway, I we're not going to get to the to the horde today. That's just it's not going to happen. Um but that's all right. We got some, some work done. We got back into it. Oh, I'm so glad to be back. Um, it was my cruise. Did I tell you guys I went on a cruise? Yeah, I went on a cruise. And I didn't record for like two weeks. And so I'm kind of getting back into the swing of this whole thing. And the cruise was awesome. Uh, Alaska is super, super cool. I highly recommend. Ooh, that was kind of loud and growly. Uh, I highly recommend Alaska to anybody who's interested in going. Ooh, it's a piggy and we want bacon and eggs. Okay, seriously! Pigs are invulnerable. <laughs> now they fly. That was pretty cool. Alright, well, there we go. Something hurt us. That was a, that was a nice loud shot and... Yeah, whatever. Oh, hey, dear. Cool. Let's just run around these guys. Now, I think we're coming up close to where we... Is this where we planted our corn? Oh, I can't remember. It was just this episode. I am so out of practice on this, y'all. I just said y'all. Wow. Okay. Oh, and there's a bear near here. We should get it. 
but I don't see it, which is the bad thing. So we're going to get out our rifle. And if we see him, we're going to shoot him. And if we don't see him, we're going to kind of panic a little. Okay, guys, well, it turns out I was going to check on my... <laughs> that hunting rifle is so awesome. Remember when we used to have to, like, run the pigs down and beat them with clubs? We don't have to do that anymore, and that's amazing. Oh, that's lots of bacon and eggs. That's so good. Well, anyway, I was going to check to see how well the corn and maple seeds we had planted uh, came along during the night. I don't see the bear. That makes me nervous. I want to show you guys my map, but I don't hear, I don't see the bear. All right, anyway, I'm going to show you guys the map. We're going to live dangerously. Anyway, uh, where's that at? I'm panicking. All right, so what we wanted to do is we wanted to go down here. I took a wrong turn, and we ended up up here. Which, you know, okay, that's fine. We we found some piggies, and that was cool. And then we shot some piggies, which was, a, <laughs> honestly, it was kind of fun. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm back into it. There's the bear. Okay, we're going we're gonna to shoot him as we're saying goodbye. Okay, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to... The Casually Have a Gamer plays Seven Days to Die. Uh, I hope you guys had fun. Next episode, we should be getting a face full of of, of feral zombie hordes, which is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to see how our new base works. And so, anyway, I keep getting distracted. I'm sorry, people. I hope you guys had fun. I know I did. I know I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad to be gaming. The cruise was awesome. It was amazing. I'm recharged, and now it's time for more nerd fun. All right, if you enjoyed the if you enjoyed the episode, click that click the like button, click the subscribe button. It's all good, and I'll talk to you guys next time.